Hi guys, it's Lita. So I kind of wanted to make a uh, video explaining the significance of my tattoos. As you can see, I got a new tattoo yesterday. And yeah, a lot of people were like, Lita, you're getting so many tattoos. Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, I know I am, but uh, I wanted to explain the significance of all of them. So um, basically, I've shown you guys the one on my hip before. I really don't feel like standing up, so I'm not going to show it. <laughs> but it's in a previous video. It's um, a cherry blossom with uh, the kanji Japanese symbol for dream on it. I actually drew that, uh, drew that design out when I was 13 and I started like kinda shaping my dreams and so it kinda just like really means a lot to me having um, that tattooed on my body I have one right here that I'm not gonna show you guys either because it's kinda like in a weird place to show on camera but it's the Kingdom Hearts heart symbol with the crown on top of it Kingdom Hearts is like one of my favorite video games ever and it's like a great storyline and I freaking love it um, but the real significance of the, the Kingdom Hearts symbol I have on my chest is that one of my best friends in the entire world, who will always be one of my best friends, did it for me. And um, so that's like where the real significance lies for me, is that I know that I remember like her doing it on me and like what we were talking about when she was doing it and stuff like that. And you know, just it's kind of like, just like a memory imprinted on my chest. And it's, it is really important to me, even though no one ever really sees it. It's still just like, I know it's there. And then this one, the Elvish quote, um, is from this, uh, the song Even Star, um, from the second Lord of the Rings movie. Um, and basically what it means is, uh, now is not the end, it is the beginning, do not let yourself fall even when you have trust in nothing else. Which, um, Lord of the Rings was like the biggest part of my life for most of my life and like had the biggest influence on me and impact on me um, pretty much more than anything else hence why I thought I was an elf from when I was like four and a half to twelve years old also once I found out what the translation meant I was like oh my god that's exactly what I live by because whenever something whenever something really bad happens I just try to think of it as this isn't the end of the world you know even though it seems like everything is falling apart and stuff uh, it, there's always room for new beginnings and um, this one some people were like really upset about for some reason but I love it it's like that and uh, it is actually from World of Warcraft yes it is um, first of all World of Warcraft as most of you guys know has like oh, huge meaning to me I love World of Warcraft it is like not not just the game like I love the game but I actually love like the lore and stuff behind it because there's actually like some really elaborate storylines um, behind the actual game like about all the characters and stuff in it this particular symbol is the night elf crest and night elves are my favorite race in the entire game because I think that they're like peaceful nature and their connection with like earth and stuff like that and like animals um, really kind of just relates to how I am and um, basically what it is is like it's like the sentinel's helmet and the sentinel's weapon like to me personally stands for wisdom and protection and so it's just a really important symbol for me to have I think even though yeah it is from a game it is important to me uh, nonetheless <clears throat> and I love it so and then this one I just wanted to save for last because it is the most important um, uh, this one I got from a different artist, but this one I got just yesterday to finish it off. And if you can see it, uh, this butterfly down here is crumbling. These butterflies are kind of crumbling, and they're growing into color and getting bigger. Um, and basically, this is dedicated to my dad because um, when I was younger, I was having, I was going through a really, really hard time in my life, and it was just completely, it sucked. Like every day, just was terrible for me. And so my dad took me to a field one day, and we just sat in the car, and he said, he, uh, he told me this sto uh, story about a butterfly. Um, and he said, okay, Lita, or it wasn't really a story, it was like a lesson. He said, okay, Lita, look out the window, tell me what you see. And I just said, ugly. Like, everything is ugly. I don't see any beauty out there in that field or anything, and I just hate where I live. And so he said, okay, well, imagine a butterfly. Do you see beauty or do you see ugly? And I was like, well beauty and butterflies beautiful and then he said okay now keep that vision of the butterfly in your head and now close your eyes and imagine it as ugly and I was like okay that butterfly is ugly <laughs> and and then he was like okay 
Now use that same concept, look out the window at the world, and instead of thinking of it as ugly, look at it as beautiful. So I looked out the window and saw it as beautiful. And from then on, uh, whenever there's a really bad situation in my life, or I don't see anything as beautiful, or if I'm having a bad day, I just try and look at it as beautiful. And so it really changed my life that moment that my dad told me to look out the window and like use the same butterfly concept uh, to, to, and apply it to like the real world. It made a huge difference. So this kind of represents the darker part of my life and it growing into color and getting more beautiful shows how I've grown like over time thanks to this one butterfly lesson. So dad, this is dedicated to you even though you really don't like tattoos and yeah, that's the significance of that one. Um, so I hope you guys uh, get a little bit of a better idea of what my tattoos are about and why they mean so much to me. And, and yeah, okay. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys later, okay? I love you. Bye.